Welcome to my lecture online. Our next example with a distance, velocity, and time problem is something very similar to what we've seen before, but we're given different information. In this particular example, we're told that they will each travel a distance of 20 kilometers, which was not known in that previous example. The problem reads, Eric starts running. One and a half hours later, Kyle tries to catch him with a bicycle traveling two and a half times as fast. If Kyle catches Eric 20 kilometers down the road, how fast did Eric run? So naturally, we're going to start with the equation that distance equals velocity times time. If we let t1 equal time for Eric, the runner, and t2 equal time for Kyle, then we can use that information to set up an equation. You'll see in just a moment why. Next, we need to somehow express their velocities in terms of x. Now, since Eric is the slowest of the two, we can let x equal the velocity of Eric. And then 2.5x is equal to the velocity for Kyle. Now we can go ahead and set up an equation because after all, if we solve this equation for time, we can say that time is equal to distance divided by velocity. So that's what we're going to use. So now we also know that the time for Eric is longer than the time for Kyle because Kyle left an hour and a half later. So we can say that time one, the time for Eric the runner, is equal to the time for Kyle plus 1.5. Now notice here why this equation is correct. If let's say um, let's say Kyle travels for one hour, then Eric will travel for two and a half hours. It'll be one plus one and a half. It's always going to be one and a half hours greater for Eric than it will be for Kyle, regardless of what the time for Kyle is. So there's our starting equation, and then we realize that if we replace time by distance over velocity, that distance one over velocity one. 1 is the information about Eric is equal to distance 2 divided by velocity 2, which is the information for Kyle. And then, of course, plus 1.5. So that's what our equation then becomes. Now we just have to plug in what we know. Well, we know that distance 1 is equal to distance 2, or 20 kilometers. So we get 20 divided by velocity 1. Velocity 1 is the velocity for Eric, which is going to be x. That is equal to distance 2, which is still 20 kilometers, divided by velocity 2, which is going to be the velocity for Kyle, or 2.5x plus 1.5. And now we have an equation we can solve for x. What we need to do here is multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator, which is going to be 2.5x. On the left side, and the right side is going to be multiplied times 2.5x, 2.5x, like this. On the left side, the x is cancelled out, and so we have 2.5 times 20, which is 50. On the right side, we have to distribute the 2.5 to both of the terms. For the first term, notice that the 2.5x cancels out, and we're left with 20. On the second term, we don't have anything to cancel out, so in that case, it's going to be 1.5 times 2.5, which is 3.75 times x. Next, we need to get rid of the decimal. To do that, we're going to multiply both sides by 100. So we multiply both the left and the right side by 100, which means on the left side, we get 5,000. On the right side, we get 2,000 plus 375x. Now we're going to move the 375 to the left and the 5,000 to the right. That gives us minus 375x is equal to 2,000 minus 5,000. All right, then I move over here to complete the problem. So that means I have minus 375x is equal to minus 3,000. And now I divide both sides by minus 375, which gives us x is equal to, the negatives cancel out, and 375 goes into 3,000, that would be 8 times, so x equals 8. Now let's go back and see what we define x as. 
Notice that x was the velocity of Eric. That means Eric will be traveling at 8 kilometers per hour. And Kyle and his bicycle will travel 2.5 times as fast. 2.5 times 8 will be 20 kilometers per hour. And if we want to check, let's see how far each one of them will travel in their respective time. Notice that Kyle will travel 20 kilometers per hour, so it will take Kyle one hour to get there. If Eric travels 8 kilometers per hour, well, 8 times 2.5 gives us 20. That means 2.5 hours for Eric. And notice that checks out because there's a difference of 1.5 hours, which is what we knew in the beginning, that it would take Kyle 1.5 hours less to get to that distance compared to Eric. So it does check out. And that is how it's done.